is yours. Five minutes left. Sound tactics involved. Die! 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 Sorry. I've been watching too many item battle matches. What time is it? Jax? Jax! Yo, what up my Destiny dudes? Alright, got a good video for you guys today. Check it out. In this video, here's what we're going to cover. We're going to cover the uh, Messenger Pulse Rifle, as well as how to improve your D2 gameplay. Might not be what you think. Play Apex. The do's and don'ts of angling, which is positioning based, and some of my working knowledge of aim assist and how it's currently kind of being done. Alright, check it out. For the Pulse Rifle, let's get this out of the way right away. Uh, I want you guys to use the Messenger. It's a high impact frame pulse rifle at 42 to 46 anti recoil, depending on your roll. And for aim assist, use fives all across the board. And then enable your rapid fire setting. All right, that's the long and the short of what the settings that I'm using on one that has Desperado. You're looking for either Desperado or Kill Clip. But in order to get this particular pulse rifle, you're going to have to try to spend some time in Trials of Osiris. I know that stinks. But, if you guys can get at least half a decent team together, you might be able to get three wins out of it, or at least get the one bounty that gives you the thing, you know, for the pulse rifle, and then you'll be good to go. At least then, you can have it, and then you can use these settings, and then you can go into pup play and have a good old time. So, that is Chronosense settings for the messenger. Um, that's what I found to be most effective. Now, in the description box below this video, I'm going to put what the, um what the actual settings for most of the exotics currently are. They, there is a list of them, so you guys can see that and you can kind of figure out which ones work for you. Um, some of them are pretty close to what I've been testing anyway, so now I just test them and I go from there. Oh, did you see what just happened there? The reset, where you pull out the heavy and then you pull out your primary, that's how you do it. Uh, me holding down the fire, it wasn't working. So, that's what that looked like. I just wanted to show that at you, kind of show you what that is so you guys can see what that looks like. Now, the next topic that I wanted to cover is angling and positioning and the do's and don'ts of that. Uh, that ties in to playing a different game. You guys know I always say, don't take Destiny 2 seriously. It's a pub shooter at best, okay? And the reason I say that is when you go play another game such as Apex, you're going to realize what a competitive shooter is supposed to look like. This doesn't qualify. <laughs> now, um, real quick, just take note of what this guy did. He did that slam right there. As we're talking about positioning, as we're talking about what angles we can take, we also have to talk about the person who is in front of you and what their current habits are. That guy likes to slam down. Um, he likes to float up really high, get out of that range, out of sight, and then slam down on top of you to finish you with the melee. So what you'll notice what I'm doing right here is I'm taking a very small angle and I'm waiting for them to approach around the corner. That's my goal. I'm letting them see me. I'm kind of peeking a little and then baiting them back around the corner. That's what I'm doing here. So my teammates are behind me. The only time I really peek out is when I know they're covering me or, you know, if I have no other option. But this is called a wide short angle. Unfortunately, I didn't do it very well, but my teammate's shooting over my shoulder to the left so I could take the guy out to the right. That's known as a wide but a short angle. So you notice I was back against the wall and I had the angle directly in front of me, and the goal of that was to make sure that they popped out of a quick corner and then I could dive around the cover and take the guy from the right as well as the left. I only got one of them. That's unfortunate, but you know, that's the idea behind it. Um, what I wanted to show you was some of these other angles here. You notice that I'm playing a lot slower. If you guys want to do really, really well with Destiny in competitive play, you have to learn to slow down. And I'm taking my corners very slowly, but very deliberately. And that's the goal, right? That way you can get somebody in your sights, and they don't get this hop on you. There's a couple of things I'm going to show you in a little bit here of what it looks like when I get the hop on somebody. You see how very, very slow and controlled I'm going around the corner? Remember, right side is strong side of cover. So if you're going to use cover, keep it to your right, pop out of the left, and that way you have the benefit of having peekers advantage. The uh, In one second here, I'm going to show you something so you guys can see what it looks like on my screen when I play against you know, people that are trying incredibly hard, 
but it's per pretty obvious that they're probably not aware. Like, okay, right there. That. Look at me around my cover, and look at him. He's all the way in the middle. So my job right there around that specific piece of corner was to pull him out like that, and he fell right for it. It's why I'm staying in that position. It's to pull him out. And then this guy, look how thin I take the two little lanes right here. And I could have probably even done better. The goal of playing around these angles is to make yourself as small as possible. Now, if he was a better shot, he probably would have got me. But you have an understanding of what to look for now. Very small, minute little changes in that corner cover. It's called slicing the pie. And then with that knowledge, you guys can use that to tackle some of these guys that like to stand out in the open and you can use the covers to your advantage. That was the main thing I wanted to get to you out of this part of the video. Um, you're gonna notice throughout the rest of the video that I'm playing a lot more patiently. That is something that Apex Legends can give you, by the way. Um, this guy right there, same tightness before, you see him jumping? Okay, it was obvious he was trying to bait us into a slam. He got me with that once already. He wasn't able to get, it, get me with that twice. Um, anyway, back to Apex. That is a competitive shooter, and I've been getting destroyed in it because it's my first time playing it. But it feels good because everyone that I'm playing against is playing as a one single unit kind of thing. They're actually taking angles. The gunplay, you have to be very precision, precise, and you have to make sure that you use your grenades and your heals appropriately, and your life actually matters. So it's been kind of a nice little tune-up for me. My goal is to play Halo Infinite. And we're going to practice and play that uh, when the time comes. But for now, you know, we're sticking with Apex and Destiny. Because these are the games that I'm pretty much known for right now. So that's what I'm staying with. Anyway. Alright. Um, aim Assist. Here's what I wanted to talk to you about Aim Assist. The Aim Assist is based around the right thumbstick. Oh, check this out. Watch. You see what I mean by that surprise angle? Surprise! This guy didn't know I was there and he ran directly at me. Um, that's called a surprise angle. I see the bullet tracers going to where this guy is, so before I popped out, I made sure to take a really good look at where this guy was coming from, and I got him from there. Anyway, the aim assist, uh, keep it on the lower end. Keep it around fives at max tens. And I say that because it's supposed to work when you're aiming down sights, when you're not aiming down sights as well as when you're jumping through the air and when you're sliding. Um, the benefits are there if you slide and use your right thumbstick, but it'll stick too much if you have the aim assist turned up too high. Um, this is probably the worst I've ever felt with it. I usually just turn it off, but if you're going to use it, keep it very, very minimal. Try to use it like at five. Five across the board is what I'm currently recommending because that's been the most effective for me. If you are going around the corner and it's too high, your right thumbstick, which is what the aim assist is currently based off of, is going to give you some grief. It's not going to allow you to pull right thumbstick around a slide around the corner quickly so that you're going to get in trouble. You know, it just it doesn't help. When you're jumping through the air, that wiggly motion, that circular you know, motion that it makes, it tends to also get you in trouble because you can't aim in a circular fashion while jumping through the air so if you have it turned up too high make sure you take that down a notch and that will help you aim a little more precise if anything get rid of it get rid of the aim assist entirely because i found that it's doing more harm than good for me personally but the best benefit i kind of get sometimes is when i keep it down low around the five marks and i'm talking all four settings five across the board they have come out and said that they're going to fix it not fixed, but they're going to add the option. Uh, the Doom Eternal is what I usually say people should go use if they're struggling with the current game pack for Destiny. But if you are not, you know, happy using the Doom Eternal pack, then they're going to add in that specific aim assist from Doom Eternal into the Destiny game pack so that you can switch and toggle between the two. That is really cool for them to do that. Thank them for that. Thank you very much. All right. That's really it. That's the longest show of the video. So uh, the Messenger Pulse Rifle Anti-Recoil between 42 to 46. Uh, aim Assist across the board at fives. Rapid Fire turned on. You're looking for Desperado and you're looking for Kill Clip. Those are both amazing perks. You're also looking for... I'm sorry, not looking for the Aim Assist. Keep it at fives across the board. Uh, angling, make sure you take a right side approach to your cover. So keeping the cover to your right is the better thing for you to do because then you get Peeker's Advantage. And play Apex Legends, because that is one of those games that will help you become a better Destiny player. But I have to warn you, it's not beginner friendly. All right, my dudes, thank you so much for your time. Love you guys so much. Have a good one.